But now to our exclusive with the quick thinking hero who helped fight off that gunman at Yoga Studio in Florida. Survivors say that Joshua Quick saved their lives. ABC's Victor Okindo is in Tallahassee with that story for us. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. Survivors tell us this could have been much worse had Joshua Quick not stepped in and taken on that gunman. It was a somber weekend here in Tallahassee. There was a growing memorial outside of this yoga studio as the community remembers the victims. Overnight, the city of Tallahassee coming together in honor of the victims who were senselessly shot during a hot yoga class Friday night. Police say 40-year-old Scott Paul Beerley opened fire, wounding five and killing two women before taking his own life. This is the worst. It, 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 it is random. There's no way to bring sense to a senseless crime. The yoga class was already underway when witnesses say Beerley walked in and started frantically rummaging through his duffel bag. The yoga instructor uh, walked over to assist him or do something and that's when I heard her scream. I looked up and I do not recall this, but I, told, I, I was told that I yelled, he's got a gun. Sitting down exclusively with ABC News, Joshua Quick says he scanned the room for anything he could use to take on the shooter. The only thing that was there that I could think of was this vacuum with a heavy end. And I, uh, so as soon as he came around the corner, the gun stopped. I used that opportunity, I hit him over the head with it. Gunman fighting back, striking Quick with the gun, the wounds to his face still fresh. The next thing I know, I'm grabbing a broom you know, anything I can, and I hit him again. I thought, this is it, like, like, this is my day, like, this is my time to go, you know? Daniela Garcia Albalat was shot in the leg. She believes Quick is the reason she is still alive today. Thanks to him, I was able to try to rush out of the door. Um, I was slipping, I was um, dripping blood everywhere because I got shot through my thighs. He saved my life. 61-year-old Dr. Nancy Van Vessem and 21-year-old Maura Binkley did not survive the attack. Both had ties to Florida State University. Dr. Van Vessem was a faculty member and Binkley a student, hoping to one day join Teach for America. Mara truly lived a life really devoted to peace, love, caring for others. The shooter was a military vet who worked for a short time as a high school teacher. In the past, he's been charged with battery for allegedly groping women and had previously posted videos online with titles like Why I Hate Cops and The Rebirth of My Misogynism. Investigators are going through all of Beerley's social media posts trying to establish a connection between him and this yoga studio, but there is still no word on a motive. Robin. Victor, thank you so much. And of course, thinking of those who lost their lives and all those that were injured, and thank goodness for Joshua. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.